Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today, today we have the great pleasure of sitting down with Beth Broderick, star of the Hallmark movie, A Holiday Miss Matt. Join mm. us as we delve into Beth's insights, into her character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you for being here with us, Beth. Oh, my pleasure. Great. So, can you tell us a little bit about your character in A Holiday Miss Matt? Yeah, my character is Barbara, and she is, you know, kind of like me. I'm a bit of a nerd. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit precise about things. Um, and uh, I joined the Christmas Committee with the local Chamber of Commerce, and it's being run by Kath, who's played by Caroline Ray, and she is larger than life and kind of messy and and all over the place. And so the two of us really have to learn to get along in order to make Christmas come alive for our town. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's very fun. Caroline and I are wildly typecast in it because we really are those people in real life. Um, but we have a, lo a lovely time working together and it was a great experience. Amazing. And uh, what initially attracted you to your role in a holiday with Matt? Well, I think... Um, the fact that I was going to be doing the movie with Caroline was huge. Um, I love her. She's an old friend and family, really. And so that was great. And I really thought it was a different premise. I've done, it was my 11th Christmas movie. I've done quite a few. And this one was really centered around two older women. And I thought that was really a marvelous thing. And you have to give Hallmark a lot of credit for you know, accommodating all kinds of people, people of all different ages and sizes and ethnic backgrounds and sexualities. And, and uh, so it was, it was really meaningful to me that they had a movie starring two, two women our age, so. Great. And uh, what do, do you think makes this movie so special and captivating? Well, it's funny. There are not a lot of Christmas movies that are really, really, really funny. And, uh, and this one is. And it's, you know, it's a chance to see Caroline Ray and I do our thing together yeah. uh, one more time. So I think I think people are going to uh, really enjoy it. Great. And uh, what was it like working again with uh, Caroline and uh, with the rest of the cast and crew on set? Oh, they were wonderful, really. Um, all of them. John McLaurin played my son, darling, darling, darling young man, and uh, and Caroline and 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 uh, Denise, um, Maxine Denise. She was also just lovely, and we had a great time. We had a great time. It's always great to work with Caroline. We made each other laugh for a month straight in in beautiful Montreal. So you can't really go wrong. Yeah, and uh, what can you tease? about your character journey? Uh, well, I think Barb learns to relax a little bit and let things happen instead of trying to make things happen, instead of trying to force things to happen. Um, and she learns to let people be who they are and I, learns to accept her son for who he is. So I think that's a great, great lesson. Great. And the last question about this movie, what was your favorite scene or moment while filming High Holiday with Matt? Well, there's a lot of fun scenes, but there's one um, where Caroline and I have to break into a building uh, together, and uh, and that's pretty funny. So hopefully you guys will be watching and look for that because it's very funny. <laughs> we are looking forward. So change of subject again. I think... Uh, Something or some uh, someone of my colleague asked you about this, but uh, can you tell us your favorite memory about your time in Sabrina the Teenage Witch? <laughs> um, gosh, there's so many. There's so many. <laughs> I mean, we had a Christmas episode where Johnny Mathis came and sang with us, and that was wonderful. Um, you know, we used to Caroline and I used to laugh so hard when we had these crazy things to do with goats and all these silly, crazy things. And we would laugh so hard, we would cry our makeup off and have to go back and put it all back on and go <laughs> back out and try to shoot. So it was, you know, it was very fun. It was a funny set. It was, um, 
you know, Melissa and Caroline are still family to me. And uh, everybody on the show was lovely. We missed our blessed Martin Ball. We lost him this year. Um, and Terry Gar too. She was with us on the show. She's a beautiful human being. So, you know, very grateful for all the memories I have from Sabrina. Amazing. And uh, change of subject again, talking about your career in general, what have been some of the most memorable projects you have worked on throughout your career and why for you? Well, I mean, Sabrina is definitely memorable. It's still on every day in every country in the world, so you can't beat that. And yeah. um, and I am so grateful to have been part of that, part of something that makes children happy. I love doing the Christmas movies. The Hallmark movies are, are wonderful to participate in. And, um, and, you know, and this new one for Netflix is going to be equally as joyful. I, I have been very blessed to work a lot. I've done 47 films and numerous television shows. And each one of them had their own merits. So it's very hard to pick. But uh, there's an independent film called Two Step that I love, that I love, that I'm still very proud of. Um, and one called Fly Away, which was great. I love doing stuff with people that don't have, don't have two cents to rub together, but somehow we made a beautiful movie. Um, and so, you know, there's just been a lot of wonderful experiences. I am very blessed, very lucky. And, um, and I've had a really amazing career. Yeah. And uh, a quick question. At Survival Shows, we are big fans of Christmas rom-coms. What is your all-time favorite? My all-time favorite Christmas movie? Or Christmas rom-com. The one you, oh, you watch uh, Christmas every Christmas rom-com. Year. Christmas rom-com. Let's see. Well, I don't know if it's a rom-com, but, but I, I love Love Actually. Yeah. It's my favorite. Love Actually is my, that's my favorite. Great. So the last question, can you tease us something about your next projects? Well, I have another movie coming out very soon called The Nana Project. And it's very fun, very funny. It stars Mercedes Rule. And it's about um, a bunch of folks that live in a retirement community and, the, and kind of the, the crazy things they get up to. It's very fun. I think audiences are really going to enjoy it. And um, so I think look for that. And then please watch Holiday Mismatch this Sunday. And it'll be running through the month on Hallmark. And then November 20th, here comes The Merry Gentleman. That is definitely a movie to watch for. And then, of course, um, The Nana Project, too. Great. Thank you. And uh, so this is it. Make sure all of you to go to Howard the Mismatch on the Hallmark Channel this Sunday night and uh, The Married Gentleman on uh, November 20th on Netflix. And yep. thank you again to join us today, Beth. My pleasure, Hans. So nice to meet you. Me too. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. <laughs> <laughs> and Bye, thank honey. you all for watching. Bye. <laughs>